What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video guys, I want to phrase this around the Dart Twitter thread I made. Um, actually no, it was the Dart video I made. Basically about throwing darts and some people had some questions about this. They didn't really understand it. So what I want to do is have a interactive example and I will go back to this portfolio every few weeks to give you guys updates and see how it works. But we're going to do a example portfolio with you guys and we're going to pick 10 we're going to call them moonshots and let's just see what happens um, now i wanted to pick several different coins and put this into this portfolio but i decided okay i'm just going to factor that all the coins that are selected have to be just at a billion in market cap or less now is this like how you should uh, structure your portfolio um, no, <laughs> it's always good to have uh, some blue chips and it's always good to have some less volatile assets. I mean, everything in crypto is extremely volatile, but we're just going to try to do a portfolio from 1K to 10K and we'll see how long that takes. If we ever get it, great. If we don't, burnt. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. Um, and this was kind of the Twitter thread that's up there. Uh, the main thing I want to highlight on this is look, at the end of the day, don't get down on yourself. If you make a 10x, 100x, you will feel you didn't bet enough. If you make like lose all your money, you will feel like, what the snap? Why did I invest in that? It's always going to happen. It does not matter. No matter how much conviction you have, no matter how much you make a trade, you don't know exactly what's going to happen. You can have 100% conviction on something and then just something out of the blue, a black swan, just basically makes it like wrecked. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead and I'm going to keep this video short. I'm going to shrink my face. Um, let, I'm going to go ahead and say the coin I'm putting into the top 10 portfolio and I'm going to explain why and we're just going to do this with $1,000. So each position I'm just going to allocate $100. Just to be fair, just to keep this uh, portfolio simple, sweet and easy to do. And then um, I'm also going to allocate $200 to blue chip positions. Uh, so the thousand dollars is going to be our moonshot and then we're also going to have a portfolio of just plain old stables. Not stables but like bluer chip assets. So there is actually going to be a total of seven in our blue chip assets. So I'll make two separate portfolios. There's the DOD dark portfolio and then I'm going to have one called the DOD stable portfolio. So I mean, I'll keep you guys up to date uh, every few weeks, maybe months, we'll do checkups and we'll see how it goes. Let's see if we, let's see if we make some money guys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with Frax share. This is going to be a stable coin play. For me, it is a stable coin play. Um, for others, it also is a stable coin play. Uh, basically, the TLDR on Frax or Frax share FXS. In order to mint more Frax, the stable coin, you need to burn FXS. The main, well, actually, it's not one to one. So there's actually partial collateral behind it. So, like, it's about 85% right now. So, about 15% is going to be FXS, and 85% is going to be some form of, form of collateral. It could be BTC, ETH, or wrap BTC in that case, um, some other stable coins. There's several different assets on there. They actually use Curve AMOs. Um, so you guys can check out the Frax website to see that. I'm not getting into that in this video. I'm just doing a quick portfolio update with you guys. So we're going to say we are spending $100 on this. So this will probably buy us, let's see, six Frax shares. So we're gonna say 5.5, 5. .5, 5. We're going to say 5.7 Frax shares. So let's go ahead and submit that. Boom. We got 100 on the FXS. So 5.7 FXS. Now the secret network, we're also going to throw 100 at this. This is a privacy coin play for me. So how I look at this is like as more people realize that privacy is valuable, they will be interested in secret network. And on top of that, uh, secret network is also a smart contract platform and it has IBC capabilities and it's inter interoperable with several other blockchains. So uber bullish on that. Um, you guys can watch the videos. I make threads on each and every one of these protocols. If you guys want to check out the Twitter threads I make, if you go onto my Twitter page right here, 
there's a section that says link tree. When you go to this link tree, you guys can go right here and go to compilation of Twitter threads and YouTube videos. It'll pull up a spreadsheet like this. It'll have all the Twitter threads, all the YouTube videos, and additional YouTube content. So it'll cover each of these protocols I'm talking about right now and why I have the thoughts that I do. So the next one is going to be LivePeer. Let's go ahead and throw $100 at this one. This will probably give us 3.7, no, 3.6, 3.5, 3.55. Uh, Boom, look at that, that's sauce right there. $100, exactly, $100 and free, did you see? <laughs> All right, anyways, so LivePeer has transcoding. Um, with transcoding, I understand that more and more people are going to watch more and more videos just like this and more people are going to be using transcoding services. YouTube can't take it all, trust me, they can't. So I just see the demand for this growing. So we'll throw a hundred bucks at that. Now the next one is Akash. I see this as a huge narrative for all the blockchains migrating away from like Google, from Amazon, AWS, whatever you wanna call it, and just several other centralized services. So I'm bullish on Akash. So let's say 80 of them. No, 83, 84, 85, 84.8. Ah, oh, so close. Anyways, we'll, we'll go right under it because we went a little over on the other ones. So we got 84.7 AKT tokens. So now let's do the next one, which is Qidao. Also, one thing to note with these guys, I'm not going to do any DeFi with these tokens at all, whatsoever. This is just going to be a buy and hold and see what happens. Now DeFi, oh dude, the sauce is nuts. Like you can stake Secret Network, you can earn 30% APY. Frax share, you can actually stake that on Ethereum. Uh, you can get about 32% if you're depositing into the convex pool or you can stake it. Same thing with Akash, you can get like 30% um, and potential airdrops. Same thing for Secret Network, potential airdrops as well. And you can also lend out Akash on Akava and get like over 80%, it's crazy. Uh, cheat out same thing you can literally lp with this token and get like 60 or 70 percent you can also stake it and get like 80 deuce finance you can lp this token and get like 300 percent on liquid driver um xhv that one you cannot stake but it is mineable uh thor swap you can stake this you can get almost 90 percent liquid driver same junk different day you can stake this and get nuts and ham shade protocol staking thune so we're not going to get into the complexities of that. We're just saying, here's our moon bag portfolio. Let's see what happens. Cheetow, I see a lot of things coming for them. Celsius integrations, partnerships, as well as just having like the DeFi backbone, backbone of being able to create um, CDP positions on yield bearing assets and charge no interest fee. That's sauce. So we're gonna throw $100 at it. So here you go, Cheetow. Take my hundo, if you can. Let's see, 83. Uh, we'll do 82. We'll go right under, because we're just gonna lose some money on trading fees, right? <laughs> oh, and by the way, um, keep this in mind. Fractshare, if you're dealing with gas fees, you can get this on Polygon. Secret Network, you can also get this on Secret Network or Secret Swap. It's cheap, probably spend like 10, 20 cents in gas fees, maybe 30 cents. Live Peer. Um, well, I mean, that one, you kind of do pay some gas if you're buying it on ETH, or you can simply just get it on Coinbase, or you can also get it on, what is that other one, KuCoin, I think? Um, it's on several different exchanges. Like, the trick is you literally just click on the token, and it takes you to all the different stuff uh, on the uh, project. So, like, you'll be able to scroll down and go to the markets, and you can see them all here. I remember buying Live Peer, and I had to buy, it, I think it was on Uniswap. Um, but I did stake the thing, uh, and staking rewards are nuts. I bought this thing like a year ago. It's crazy. Um, Akash, same thing. You can buy this on Osmosis. No gas fees, so no complaints. Cheetow, Polygon. Gas fees are like pennies. Come on now. Come on, guys. I thought that out. Don't worry. Deuce, Deuce Finance. You can get this on Phantom. I think you can get it on Polygon as well, but you can't really stake it. This one, we're going to have to go with like 0.2. Yeah, because this thing is saucy right here. We don't even get one token. What? I'm getting ripped off. We're going to say 0.27. Now, 
Now the next one is Haven. Uh, Haven, we're gonna go ahead and buy 25 of these. So we're gonna say 25 XHV or 20, 24.4, perfect. And Haven, this is a, a privacy, oh, I didn't even go over Deuce. Uh, Haven, I'm looking at it as like a privacy play, uh, as in it has Luna tokenomics. I made a thread on this to explain it. You burn XHV to mint XUSD, which is the stable coin, and it's a fork of Monero. So these uh, stable coins are actually truly private, like no trace, no nothing, like nobody knows what it is. Deuce Finance, I look at it as like a Oracle play and also synthetics, and it has some serious synergies coming up with Liquid Driver. You wanna hear about the synergies? Read the thread I made, just, it's got synergies. <laughs> Liquid Driver is going to use Deuce uh, to mint the stable coin that they need in order to leverage farm their positions. So it's bullish for Liquid Driver because they give the best rates, and then it's also bullish for Deuce Finance because it's an algo or partially algo stable coin where you burn Deuce to mint day, the stable coin. So same junk, different day. I like stable coin plays. It's one of my uh, thesis convictions, whatever you want to call it, for 2022. The next one is Thor. So I'm uber bullish Thor chain. Uh, if Thor chain gets a lot of rapid growth or rapid adoption, more people will be using Thor swap, the main decks for uh, Thor chain. And Thor swap gets about 75, or it gets 75% of the swap fees that are on the Thor chain decks or the Thor swap decks. So it's saucy right there. Let's go ahead and throw $100 at this one. So these are 1.44 and we're gonna buy 70 of them, I think. Wow, we are getting sauced. But so 70, yeah, just about. So we'll actually be fair and do 69.5.4. Boom, we're right under the target. You know, gas fees, whatever. Um, and yeah, Thorchain gas fees are like 14 cents or 12 cents, whatever. Um, if you guys are like, oh no, I gotta buy the ERC uh, 20 Thor swap token. No, just buy the synth one. The synth one will save you some fees. The synth one is like the gas fees on Rune, not on ETH. So it's like sauce on Roids. The next one is Liquid Driver. I explained those synergies. Basically, these guys are like the uh, curve convex type of thing. They're the convex model to where they're able to give even better yields than what you normally would get. So let's go ahead and lever up on um, some liquid driver. Let's throw $100 at this. So this is 15.12 and it's not gonna work. So we gotta refresh the page. And then we're also gonna throw $100 at Shade. Um, I look at Shade like a privacy coin uh, as well. This is not as private as XHV, being that it's uh, relying on the securities or I guess you can say the uh, network security of the secret network. Um, so it doesn't have its own chain and XHV has its own chain. So it does seem that Shade is going to be a bit reliant on a secret network, but it still does have the Luna tokenomics to where you burn Shade to mint Silk and Silk is not backed by a dollar. In fact, it's pegged to a basket of assets, which is actually more stable than the dollar. Um, just think about it like this. Buying a burger back in the 50s cost you about 15 cents. Buying a burger now, yeah, no, <laughs> that's like $3.99. So good luck with that. Just imagine if you got some silk or let's say FPI that's going on Frax. That's also another thing for Frax that's going to be bullish. So let's see, so 6.5. Guys, anything I say is not financial advice. I'm just explaining to you my convictions, my thoughts, and I'm explaining to you why I'm making the plays that I'm making and why I'm allocating this portfolio into the way that I've allocated it. So I've thrown a thousand dollars at it. I'm up 65 cents. We will see how this portfolio goes. And actually, no, it says I'm down 34 cents. What the snap? Anyways, um, yeah. So now we're going to do the next portfolio, which is going to be our stable portfolio, which is going to be like um, higher market caps. So you guys will see what I'm talking about. Juno, Thorchain, Phantom, Cosmos, Terra, Ethereum, Bitcoin. Now, these are not the only ones. Like, I look at other ones as well, but I want to simplify it and keep it simple and just something that we can track and look at. Like, I mean, I would even add in here Harmony One. I would even add Avalanche. I mean, maybe maybe some other NFT coins like Engine or even Sand. Um, I, I have some Sand 
from a long time ago, but just like different things. Um, so we're just going to keep it simple and we're going to stick with these. Bitcoin, we're going to add $200 at this. Yeah, <laughs> my buns, we aren't buying one Bitcoin. That ain't happening. Sorry, guys. We're not that good. We got 0 0.005, nope, 0 0.045, nope, 47 Bitcoin. Nice. We are almost at 0 0.01 Bitcoin. Let's go. So Ethereum, um, we're going to get 0.15, I think. No, wow. Jeez, what was I thinking? 0 0.07, 0 0.06. And I remember when you used to be able to buy ETH for like 100 to 200 bucks. This is, this is wreckage. Um, good times. All right, so we're going to say 0.67. We're going to submit. That's our 200 bucks there. Um, Ethereum or Bitcoin, I'm mainly looking at it like the brand name. Uh, it's the oldest, fastest, or oldest, slowest, and most rely on. Most people look at it. It's basically the gateway to cryptocurrency. Ethereum, it's going to be, yeah, you can consider it a smart contract layer, maybe like a settlement layer, but I would more so consider it like a sound money, um, even a settlement layer. Terra Luna, I consider this a apex asset. Uber bullish Luna, I like these guys. Been around the bush with them for a while. Um, fun times. But yeah, uh, Luna, I see them as a decentralized stablecoin play. I see more people leaving centralized stablecoins and going to decentralized ones. You can't have DeFi with centralized stable coins. You just can't. Cosmos. Now, Cosmos, it's probably best if you're getting this one to stake this coin, mainly for the airdrops. Um, mainly why I like Cosmos is it's a spec play um, on the fact that if they get any EIP 1559 like features that bring value back to the uh, Atom token, or even other value accrual mechanisms. Um, and a lot of tokens pay homage back to the Cosmos coin by saying, hey, here's an airdrop, take it, have fun. Or they'll price their NFTs in the Cosmos token or several of the uh, DEXs will use um, the Cosmos token as like the actual, one of the main assets. So like if you go on Ethereum, most of the tokens are paired with ETH. It's just how Ethereum works. So we're gonna throw $200 at Cosmos. The next one is Phantom. I really like Phantom. It's a very, very low market cap to TVL ratio, as in it's like 0.4. Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's like 0.44. So that's the lowest out of all the smart contract platforms, which is like fire sauce. <laughs> so we're going to throw $200 at Phantom. So let's say this is 150. No, nah, this is like one. Five. We'll call it 156.5 and call it a day. No, four. We'll be. What the snap, dude? Okay, we'll go right under 156.2. So, boom. Now, the next one is Thorchain. I'm uber bullish on Thorchain. This allows you to swap native assets for other native assets. Oh, and I forgot to mention Phantom is DAG. Uh, it's really fast compared to other blockchains, uh, and it, only, it will only get faster. Instead of uh, processing blocks one, out of, one after another, one after another, they can uh, process blocks at the same time. So like one block can process here while another processes here. It's much faster. So you can um, shoot more transactions through instead of just one after the other. That's just how the DAG technology works. Uh, Thorchain. Now, Thorchain allows you to swap native assets for other native assets. And it has a very unique value accrual mechanism to where $1 deposited will actually juice the market cap of Rune by $3. So we're gonna throw $200 at this. Now there's other synergies involved in it as well. I'm just giving like a quick brief overview. I made several videos on it. I highly recommend you guys take a look at it to get the full in-depth concept of that. So let's go ahead and throw 23, 24. Now we'll do 23.5. Point three, nice done. Now the next one is Juno. Do you know what I mean? So Juno, we're gonna throw two hundred dollars at this one, and the reason we're throwing two hundred dollars at this one is it's a smart contract platform built on Cosmos. This is very important because normally, if you want to build your own smart contract platform 
on Cosmos, you have to launch your own chain. So what's the workaround on that? Juno, it is. There is Evmos, I understand, but we all see how that's going. Um, I'm uber bullish on Juno. I like what they're doing. They have the first mover advantage. It's like a community chain. There is a lot of FUD going around, but just that actually goes to show you how strong the community is. They had a 98% turnout on one of the proposals. I've never seen this before. A normal proposal on Cosmos on a good day, like amazing, is like 68, 70%. That's like fantastic on a great day. Juno shows up with 98 within a day. What the snap, dude? That's crazy. So we're going to throw some money at Juno to see what happens. So we can see our quote unquote Drake on digital stable portfolio is got or has $1,400 and our other portfolio has $1,000 at it. Um, of course, this is probably not the best way to throw everything at it. I'm just doing a quick breakdown and a quick overview so you guys can understand uh, how to make somewhat of a portfolio and make some positions. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to put your positions like this. This is just a portfolio I made up just as an example to show you guys what I mean by dart throwing. Some of these tokens that you guys see right here, they're going to go down and down really hard. I don't know which ones, but some of them will go down and potentially just to zero. That's how it rolls. That's how dart throwing rolls. In fact, you throw these darts, some will make it, some won't make it. I have a conviction on each of them. I create a narrative around them and create an idea and why I invest in them and why I choose them. And I throw the dart. I research, I throw a dart at it and see what happens. The, okay, so comparative to the portfolio, 100% or $100 would be 1%. So at any given time, you are not speculating with over 10% of your full capital portfolio. Why is that? Because if you lose the game, game's over. You can't keep playing. But with this dart scenario, all I need is one of these tokens to 10x and it pays for any of the other ones for losses. Or I can just get two 5x's or five 2x's, which in crypto, that's really common um, to get a 10x, just FYI, or even sometimes a 100x or even a 1000x. But we'll see how this portfolio goes. I'll keep you guys up to date. We'll see what happens um, in two weeks, three weeks. We'll see how it looks in a month, two months, and we'll see if we get wrecked or if we win or if we can turn it into $10,000 or even $100,000. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let's go ahead and hit you guys with a wisdom one-liner. By the way, guys, if you guys want to jump in the Discord, there's a link in the description below. It's a Patreon link that'll give you access to Discord. Just make sure you do the VIP tier and you guys can see what I'm doing in the markets, what DeFi protocols I'm playing in, what altcoins I'm looking at. And you can also chat with a bunch of other DeFi DGENs just like you that are way smarter than me. Proverbs chapter 16, verses 18. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Don't be prideful. You know what they say. Humble yourself or quickly be humbled. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See ya.